Ava Sangre and the Museum of Memory. Performed by you. You are dead. <clears throat> I'm afraid that's right. There is no game called Papa Sangre. You're dead. Look at that thing in your hands. It isn't real. Look around you. Nothing you can see now, nothing is real. Everything you can see with your eyes open, that's memory. And you, you're in the garden where people go when they're dead. And you have to do exactly as I tell you now, or very soon you will forget everything and everyone you've ever known. On three, I want you to close your eyes. One, two, three. Whatever happens, don't go from them. Everyone can see down here. I'll show you how. I'm stood to your right. Can you hear me in your right ear? So, you'll have to stand. On your feet. Stand up. Now, turn all the way around. Slowly. 360 degrees. See that gramophone? You're here because you're dead. When you come here, you bring a few days of memory with you. Mm, I can still smell it on you. And that's what you see when you take your headphones off. The last days before your death. There is a way back for you to the world of the living. Luckily for you, the Museum of Memory is nearby. But you don't have long. You've got until the memory of your life fades. After that, well... <laughs> Hang on, let me just... That's better. Now, that music is memory. One of my old ones, in fact. That's how memory sounds down here. If you want to get back to the world of the living, you'll need as much of that as you can find. So, turn so it's in front of you. Good. Walk to the memory and pick it up. Black gravel underfoot. Good. Now catch that piece over there. Excellent. You need to find a lot of this if you want to make it home. Next one. Water. You're dripping. You should bear in mind there might be something inside a fragment, a little piece of life. So, go and get that next one. You're at the stream. Keep walking across it, it's not deep. That piece released a sort of black parity vulture. You look ridiculous. We're not going any further until you clap your hands to scare it off. Well done. If you ever need to make a noise to scare something away or to draw it near you, just clap. One last fragment. Get it. I don't want to forget. Yes. And if you hear voices, don't trust them. 
Never trust the dead. I'm at the door to Papa Sangre's Museum of Memory. Hear the music inside. Come. The Museum of Memory is abandoned and dangerous. The staff are unfriendly. But the memories are priceless. On display in the first room is a girl's memory from the 1920s. If you want to get home, you need to steal it. Now, I can't go in with you. I've, uh, I've been banned. Stealing from the gift shop a few hundred years ago. But just wait a while, I... <clears throat> right, just put a hat on your head. Suits you. You'll be able to hear me, as long as you're wearing it. Now, open the door. Use your hand. Either one. So, you're going in there. When you've got everything, I'll open the door again so you can get out. You'll hear this buzzer. Head for that. That's the way out. Right then, in you go. trip over. They'll hear you and eat your soul if they catch you. Be as quiet as you can. Excellent. You've stolen your first exhibit. I'll read you the card. Edith Pascoe. First memory, Ducks, 1929. Papa Sangre loves this sort of thing. Ignore it. Never trust the dead. Get the next one. This one's still in the display case. You'll need to smash it open with your hand. When you break the glass, the mind louse will come looking for you. Just go for the door. Listen for the buzzer. Quick, follow the buzzer. Well done. Now, give me that memory. I'll look after it for you. So, nod if you can remember getting lost in the supermarket when you were six. The village of Black Dog in Devon. If you forget your life, you're stuck here forever. You have to steal memory to make sure that doesn't happen. The next exhibit's a man's memory. Go and get it.
There are two mind lice in there with you. Tread carefully. One of them is a clever bugger. Always stays close to the exhibits. I'll read you the card. Max Johnson. Memory of Submarine Disaster, 1957. Papa likes the bad ones too. Another in a display case. Break the glass, but move on quick when you do. Good, now move. You need to smash this one too. Well done. I'll just keep that memory safe for you. Do you remember your first bedroom? Learning to tie your shoes. The moment of your death. Okay. Wow, it's hot. In you go. There's a colossal mind louse in there. So, be careful. Don't move. This memory's full of fire. And now the floor's covered in explosive bits of memory. If you stand on them, you'll set them off. And that monster louse will come running to eat your past. Once you start moving, don't stop until the floor is quiet. More memory sparks. Move quickly. Just get out of there. Make for the door. The floor's covered with fiery memories. Just peg it. Give me that memory. Thanks. All right, I think... Steal the exhibits from two more memories, and then you might be ready to go home. Good luck. In you go. Well, looks cold in there. I think there's only one mind louse with you, but the cold makes them insanely angry. Hear that? That's a forgotten man. They even frighten me. It's moving through time. It's probably in your future. Hopefully not. Actually, forget I ever mentioned it. Oh. Marbles, made of ice, all over the floor. If you kick any and make a noise, which you will, just try and stay ahead of whatever comes out of the dark. The mind louse heard that. Move. By the way, the card says, Paul Nixon, 16 years old, memory of breaking ice in the cold winter of 1978. I'm betting Papa likes this one for the pain.
surviving lice, please proceed to the ice gallery, where a robbery is in progress. Oh, great. Thank you. Look, get the next one quickly. If you kick a marble, just, just keep moving. No, stop! There's a louse right in front of the door. You're going to have to draw it away. When you're ready, clap your hands. A louse in there will come looking for you. Make sure you're somewhere else when they get there. Sneak off for the door. Go! Well done. Give me that memory. Thank you. Just to check, can you remember the name of the PE teacher you really hated when you first came to big school? Anyway, one final room. This one was closed for health and safety reasons. Spill of bubbling fluid in the preserving lab upstairs. Wellies won't help you. <laughs> Good luck. You'll be back home soon. in there. On the other hand, the bubbles you can hear are coming from bottomless pools of preserving fluid that dissolve memory in an instant. I won't be able to get you out if you fall in, but I'll warn you when you're near the edge. Off you go. Okay, stop there. You hear the bubbles? Turn so they're in your left ear. The closest pool's now to your left. The next memory's on the other side, so you'll have to go around it. When you walk forwards, listen for when the sound starts to fade. Then you'll know that you've passed the end of the pool and you can head towards the memory. Go. says Alison Tsu, 34 years old, early 21st century, recurring nightmare. One of your contemporaries, I think. You need to break this one open. Ah, a mind louse. Just arrived. Move. Smash this one too. Right, the door, peg it. Steady. You are uh, very close to the edge. Don't get any closer to the bubbles. In hospital, when you were eight, you got stitches. The memory's gone. Right, no mind lies in there. On the other hand, the bubbles you can hear are coming from bottomless pools of preserving fluid that dissolve memory in an instant. I won't be able to get you out if you fall in, but I'll warn you when you're near the edge. Off you go. Okay, stop there. You hear the bubbles? Turn so they're in your left ear. The closest pool's now to your left. The next memory's on the other side, so you'll have to go around it. When you walk forwards, listen. But when the sound starts to fade, then you'll know that you've passed the end of the pool and you can head towards the memory. Go.
Bernard says Alison Tsu, 34 years old. Early 21st century, recurring nightmare. One of your contemporaries, I think. You need to break this one open. You know... Ah, a mind louse. Just arrived. Move. You need to smash this one too. Right, the door. Peg it. So, you've stolen the memories of five people from Papa Sangre's museum. That ought to be enough. I'll take my hat back now. Okay, come over here and I can send you home. Come on. I'm gonna put all the memories you've stolen into the piece of glass in your hands, all right? Hold it up, as if you're taking a picture. This will send you back to the world of the living. It's been a pleasure. Now shake it as hard as you can. Oh, that's new. Why? Did you just take a photograph of me? You did. You bloody well did. In all these centuries. Don't move. That's a forgotten man. If they catch you, it's annihilation of the soul. They can smell memory from miles. They hear everything. I should leave you to them. But I need that photo back. That photograph's somewhere inside the memories you've just stolen, and that's where you're going. You're gonna have to go inside them to look for it. You'll know when you've found it, but it'll be dangerous. These memories belong to dead souls, and they'll defend themselves. Memory is all they have. Come over here by the gramophone player. You better put the hat back on. This isn't a gramophone player. It's a door to the interior of the memories you've just stolen. The first one's ready to go. Just drop the needle on the record. There, the door's open. You're going to 1929, Edith Pascoe's memory. The ducks. Bring me that photograph. Here on the Isle of Man. It's 1929. You need to find the duck shooting stand. Right, the duck shooting stand. Air rifle in your left hand. Shoot the ducks. They're all around you. Shoot all the ducks, live the memory, see if you can find the picture. Well done, direct hit. Get the next one. Good.
soul's protecting itself. It's turned the ducks against you. If they get to you, you'll be stuck in here forever. Shoot them. Shots. The picture's not there. Run to the door. You made it out. The picture you took wasn't there. On the plus side, you've just lived a priceless memory that belonged to a dead soul. Next one, then. You're going into Trudy Powsland's memory of fire in 1983. Live the whole memory if you can stand the heat. If you hear any forgotten men, they can smell fresh memory with every step you take. Try not to panic. This house is on fire. You need to get out. Follow the cat. But don't touch the walls, they're alight. If the ceiling sounds like it's gonna fall, move. Quick, the roof's falling in. Run! The memory's defending itself. It's conjured another cat. Make sure you follow the right one, the original, or you'll be in trouble. You've fallen through the floorboards. Use your hands to climb back out and keep moving. Quick! Okay, you're up. Keep going. Use your hands! Okay, run. Oh no, another fake cat. Follow the original one. Ignore it, you can't help her. Keep following the cat. There's too much smoke now. Hold your breath and run to the exit. Run! Keep going. Get to the door, I've opened it. Did you find that picture? No but you've rummaged through two whole memories. How are you bearing up, by the way? Remember swimming in the sea last year? First kiss? Not that I care too much either way, frankly. Now, go inside Paul Nixon's memory. 1978. It's cold in there. Ice and penguins. Find that picture. Watch your step in there. It's a cold memory. The boy fell through the ice looking for his dog. Live the memory and see if that picture's in there. The ice is thin and this memory isn't going to give itself up easily. Rescue the dog and get back to the door without falling through. You'll need to follow the bird. The soul's defending itself with, ah, a penguin, cunning. The ice won't hold you both, so keep ahead of it. Or clap your hands to scare it off when it gets too close. You'll hear the ice cracking. That'll buy you some time before it comes back. The penguin's too close, clap. 
Word of advice. Don't clap your hands like a seal when there's a sleeping polar bear nearby. One clap will scare it off for a few seconds. Hang on. I've given the penguin a fish so I can talk to you. OK, now there's a polar bear in there. So when you're clapping your hands to scare off the penguin, keep in mind that the bear will hear you and it has fangs in its mouth. Excellent. You need to get back now, but with that dog in your arms, the ice will be even less able to hold your weight. Don't stand still and run from the penguin. Your hands are free, so you can clap if you need to. Follow the bird home. Ice is thin. You need to be careful. All right? Clap as soon as you hear it crack. The soul's defending itself with... Ah, a penguin. Cunning. The ice won't hold you both, so keep ahead of it. Or clap your hands to scare it off when it gets too close. You'll hear the ice cracking. That'll buy you some time before it comes back. The penguin's too close. Clap! Hang on. I've given the penguin a fish so I can talk to you. OK, now there's a polar bear in there. So when you're clapping your hands to scare off the penguin, keep in mind that the bear will hear you and it has fangs in its mouth. Excellent. You need to get back now, but with that dog in your arms, the ice will be even less able to hold your weight. Don't stand still and run from the penguin. Your hands are free, so you can clap if you need to. Follow the bird home. Okay, get out of there, there's no picture. Come to the door. The 
picture wasn't there. But you do seem to be pretty good at living other people's memories. Right, take a deep breath. You're going inside Max Jonsson's memory. Atomic submarine, ocean floor in the pitch dark cold. Go and find the man trapped on the submarine's bridge and make it to the escape hatch. There's radioactive steam leaking, so you're going to have to learn to listen to your Geiger counter. I'll teach you along the way. Follow the alarm sounds and find that picture. A pipe ahead has just blown. Keep walking towards it. You're still safe. Okay, stop. You're safe here, just. The counter's telling you the radioactive steam's coming out just ahead. You can't avoid it, but you need to run straight across, just a few steps, until the Geiger calms down. Wait for the steam to stop before you go. You're safe again. Now keep moving forward. There's more up ahead. Another one's blown, same as before. Walk up to it until your Geiger counter starts getting excited. If you don't want to have your face burned off by radioactive steam, use the Geiger counter to tell when you're getting too close. The pipe ahead has just blown. Keep walking towards it. Okay, stop. You're safe. You're safe again. Now keep moving forward. There's more up ahead. Another one's blown. Same as before. Walk up to it until your Geiger counter starts getting excited. Find the man, quick. Open the hatch with your left hand to let the man out. Thank you, thank you. We don't have much time. Follow me to the escape hatch. Follow my beacon.
He's Papa Sangre. He eats souls. He eats them. What's he say? He's going to eat us. And you. I don't know what he just said to you. But get to the exit. Run. Never trust the dead. Especially when you're violating their memories. Look after yourself. I need you to so you can find that picture. Last one. Alice and Sue. The picture must be in here. It's her memory of a recurring nightmare. Take this bag of broken glass. You'll need it. Don't come back without that picture. You're on a path across a black void. All you can see in this dark memory are flagstones across an abyss. To tell where the edge is, throw the glass in your bag with your right hand. If you hear it land on stone, you've got about two steps. If it falls into the void, it's a very long way down. So step somewhere else. You might kick pebbles over the edge. So listen out for that. It means you're close. Make it across the abyss, and you should find that picture. Listen out for the telephones. You can follow them. Hear that? You're close to the edge. Cockroach. Oh, hi, yeah. Look, Papa Sangre stole my soul with a voice recording. So if you hear this, ask yourself where your soul is. Bye. Bigger cockroach. Terrapin. Hi. If you can hear this, I have to tell you. Shom is Papa Sangre. He doesn't care about you. He only wants to eat our souls. The dead will say and do anything to keep their last memory. Ignore her. fell. I caught you. Use the glass to tell where the edge is. You're not coming out until you've brought me that picture. Hear that? You're close to the edge. If you hear that when you throw the glass, there is nothing but abyss ahead. It'll take more than two steps forward. Cockroach. Oh, hi, yeah. Look, Papa Sangre stole my soul with a voice recording. So if you hear this, ask yourself where your soul is. Bye.
bigger cockroach. Terrapin. Hi. If you can hear this, I have to tell you. Shom is Papa Sangre. He doesn't care about you. He only wants to eat our souls. The dead will say and do anything to keep their last memory. Ignore her. There's the picture. You've got it. Now bring it to me. I've sent in a forgotten man to hurry you along. Hi. Just to say, Sean steals souls because he eats them. He's going to eat yours with mine the second you leave my memory. Ignore her. From where I'm standing, you don't have a lot of choice but to keep going anyway. You, take that hat off, you look stupid. We tried to warn you. Shut up! You, give me that thing in your hands. Your one job was to take memory from dead souls so I could eat them. And you couldn't even manage that. Stumbling around down here, Hanging on to that piece of glass in your hands like an idiot. I've had enough. The forgotten men will be here soon to murder your soul. I never want to hear you again. Enjoy the last moments of your death. of the living with photographs and recordings. He keeps them here with prisons of music. You can get back to your body, but you'll have to release the souls from the prisons first. Please, turn me over. Please. The forgotten men are coming, and if they catch you, you will be annihilated. Your body will continue in the world of the living with no soul. You will be trapped in this darkness, but I can help you. First, pick the hat back up and put it on your head. Use a hand. Okay, walk to the fountain. There is a water pistol there. This water has no memory at all. It kills forgotten men. Go now.
Go to the fountain. Get... You found the water pistol. Now you must use it to kill the forgotten men. They are extremely dangerous. Papa Sangre keeps souls he's stolen imprisoned inside memories. You must go back inside the memories to release the souls. But first, you need to find those memories. They're in here somewhere. Get them and squirt every single forgotten man you meet with the water pistol in your left hand. Forgotten men are shy. They've conjured the souls of animals to hide among. Retrieved all the memory. Now come back to the gramophone player. Time is very short. <coughs> A forgotten man got your mind. You are permanently dead. Papa Sangre keeps souls he's stolen imprisoned inside memories. You must go back inside the memories to release the souls. But first, you need to find those memories. They're in here somewhere. Get them and squirt every single forgotten man you meet with the water pistol in your left hand. Forgotten men are shy. They've conjured the souls of animals to hide among.
retrieved all the memory. Now come back to the gramophone player. Time is very short. Excellent. You've bought yourself some time. To save your own soul, you have to win it back from Papa Sangre. And to do that, you will have to get his attention. You need to go back inside the memories. Put the needle on the record. Hear this? It's called hold music. It's prison bars. Papa Sangre uses it to keep a soul incarcerated. You need to destroy it by going back inside the memory and seeking it out. I can't guide you through the memory, but the soul whose memory it is, Max Jonsson, will. He wants you to release him. They all do. Go inside and destroy the hold music. Good luck. I remember a submarine on the floor of the Norwegian Sea. Water and the dark. You've been slow. It's full of water now. But this isn't just a memory. It's a prison. And the bars of this prison are music. Free me. Find the music and destroy it with your hands. Look for the bubbles and you'll be able to breathe. Good luck. Bubbles first. Well done. Fill your lungs. There's no coming back when you leave. Listen for the next bubbles. Okay. The first bit of music is nearby. Make sure you get it before you get your next breath. The submarines hold in the side, right here. The next piece of music's on the seabed. There's no air bubbles out there, so take a deep breath before you go. Smash it! Get back to the submarine! To the bubbles! Running out of air. Find some quick. Destroy it. Last one. It's a long way with no air.
Papa Sangre stole my soul in 1957 when I was filmed waving goodbye from the side of a warship for a newsreel film. This is the music holding my soul here. It's been on loop for 60 years. Please, lift the needle. Take... Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. The disc is in your hands. You can destroy it now and I'll be at peace when I'm gone. Please, please do for the others what you did for me. Papa Sangre won't like it when he finds his dinner missing. And you might get a chance to save yourself. Okay, I'm ready. Shake it. Smash it. You did a good thing. He is at peace now, and Papa Sangre won't be happy. Can you do it again? Edith Pascoe needs you. We're back on my pier in 1929 and we have a train to catch. Find it. Listen to the music. It's on the tracks. Ride the train through it and destroy it. But watch out, you may have to defend yourself. Shoot the ducks. Use the air rifle in your left hand. Nice shot. There's another. You got it. Here comes the first bit of music. Hold on. You got it. Three more to go. Keep riding. from both sides. Take them out one at a time. There's only one more piece to destroy. Keep going to the end. Here's the last piece. Ready? Papa Sangre stole my soul in a photograph on this pier. The music keeping me prisoner is on the record you can hear. Lift the needle. Lift the needle.
Idol. Stop the music. Thank you. I have to warn you. He's coming back. And when he does, it won't be nice. Now, release me. Smash the record. Shake it. Good. Keep going. Trudy Powersland's house is still on fire. Go! is a fire extinguisher. Use it sparingly. In your right hand, you've got some sand. Throw it. You'll hear it flare up if there's a fire straight ahead. In which case, go another way. Oh, and listen out for Sinjin if you're too close. Go! Destroy the music! close to the burning wall. You're Sinjin. Make sure you walk away from it. The music's surrounded by fire. You need to put it out to get close enough. The extinguisher's in your left hand. Good. Now get the music. Smash it with the extinguisher. Three more. Keep going. Carry on. You're nearly there. 
Oh no, the house is collapsing. Run to the last piece. Nearly Quick. there. Keep running. This is it. Smash it. Papa Sangri stole my soul with a camera. He's kept me trapped in here with this music for three decades. It's time to stop it. Take the needle off the record. Take the needle off. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's cold. Get him back for me. Take his photo. Let me go now. Destroy the record. Shake it. Brace yourself. Papa is coming. You must help Paul Nixon before he gets here. Wrap up warm. I'm trapped in the worst day of my life. Thank you for coming to release me. Here's my pen knife. Don't lose it. Now, head quietly towards that polar bear. I'll explain why on the way. The music keeping me prisoner is inside the polar bears. You'll need to creep up on them and kill them with the knife. Right hand. Be really careful though. You can't kill them while they're moving. They'll trample you. Get them all. Good. Now get the next. Do the same as what you did last time. When the ice starts to break, clap to scare them off. They'll leave you alone for a few seconds. Five of its friends.
Well done. There's one more piece of music. Go and get it. Heavy penguin, thin ice, don't mix. When it's near, you'll have to move. I'm trapped in the worst day of my life. Thank you for coming to release me. Here's my pen knife. Don't lose it. Now, head quietly towards that polar bear. I'll explain why on the way. The music keeping me prisoner is inside the polar bears. You'll need to creep up on them and kill them with the knife. Right hand. Be really careful though. You can't kill them while they're moving. They'll trample you. Get them all. Good. Now get the next. the same as what you did last time. When the ice starts to break, clap to scare them off. They'll leave you alone for a few seconds. You killed the penguin! Here come five of its friends. Well done. There's one more piece of music. Go and get it. It's under the ice. You need to break through it. Jump. I was recording my voice on a tape recorder in my bedroom when Papa Sangre stole my soul. This is the music he's been keeping me captive with. Take the needle off the record. Thank you. Papa Sangre is coming. You'll have to fight him for your soul. Okay. Send me home. Destroy the record. Shake it! Papa Sangre is nearly here. But you must release the last soul before he arrives. She has information that can help you. I have to warn you, you're going into a nightmare.
Welcome back to my nightmare. Before, we were walking on a path across an abyss. Now we're at the bottom, and the floor's covered with the glass you threw over the edge. The noises you can hear are hungry snuffle hawks. They'll hear every step you take on that glass, unless you can find a safe time to move. Get the music and destroy it before he returns. Oh no! Get out quick or he'll trap us both here forever! Last one! Go! Captain Sangre will return in 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Papa Sangre is here. Smash it! Listen to this music anymore. Take the needle of the record. You know there is a way to defeat Papa Sangre. You must take his picture. But you need to get close to him, and it might take a few shots. I can't help you anymore. Send me home. I was leaving a voicemail when Papa Sangre stole my soul. Delete it. Press the button. You have no messages. And it's time to fight Papa Sangre for your soul. still dead and I'm still going to finish you off you think that little performance has changed anything I have millions more where those souls came from and I'm gonna start with yours to kill it all I have to do is this and leave you in here with the broken pieces of the memories you've been getting to know so well chaos with no soul memories with no memory now die and get out of my hair Yeah. Look, I'm not my soul. I'm not recording. So if you hear this, ask yourself.
observe where your soul is. I should congratulate you for surviving that. But instead, I want to tell you a story. This story is about me, you, and death. The death is yours. It comes at the end. At the hands of everything awful I've created to annihilate souls like yours. Ignore him. You can still beat him. Those fragments out there, they're yours. Get them back. Use the water pistol. But you have to keep moving. Don't stop, ever. Or they'll get you. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop.
Keep moving. Get that memory. They have a piece of glass in their hands over there. enough to him or let him get close enough to you to take his picture and you might be able to defeat him you'll need a few shots it's in your right hand go Suffering. Good. Get some more shots. Keep moving. Get that memory. Come, just, just look. Give it. Ah, two pictures. Standing over your grave. Get one more shot. defeated Papa Sangre himself. In hundreds of years, no one has done what you've just done. On behalf of the lost souls of Papa Sangre's larder, I thank you. Now, it's time to return your soul to your body in the world of the living. To go home, you must destroy the thing holding you here, outside of time. It's in your hands. I'm speaking to you from it. The piece of glass you are holding. Push up the switch on the left hand side. Switch off silent mode. Unplug your headphones. Take them off. Hear that? It's your hold music. You must destroy it to get back to the world of the living. Shake it. Shake it harder than you've ever shaken before. Keep shaking. Shake it! Shake it! You 
have successfully destroyed your hold music. You are free.